Are you claiming that you're the only son of God? Which is what it seems from the Bible that Jesus claimed in the first century. Well, no, I'm not claiming that I am the only son of God. However, in the first century, there was a time when I was the only true son of God in the sense that I was teaching. If I could illustrate that, in the first century, I taught that every single person was a child of God. In other words, every single person has been created by God and their soul, which is the true individual, not, not the physical body or the spirit body that the, that the person had, but rather their soul was God's creation. And so therefore we are all, every single person who has ever existed on this planet, a son or a daughter of God. None of us are, even if we deny that, we are still a son or daughter of God. However, I also described in the first century, which I'm also talking about now, the process of becoming at one with God, which is a process of change of your soul to the point where divine love is received in the soul and the soul changes and, and, and adjusts and develops into becoming a person that was beyond what we originally were created to be by ourselves. This is a process of receiving divine love that transforms the soul into a new creature. And this new creature I call the true, a true son or daughter of God. Now every son or daughter of God, every child of God, has the ability to become a true son or daughter of God. It is not an exclusive club of, with only a few members or only one member myself. What I have been teaching for the last 2000 years is that any person who desires to become at one with God and become a true child of God or a true son or daughter of God, a person who acknowledges God as their parent and a person who has received divine love to the point where they are at one with God on matters of love. This quality or space that a person comes into, which I call being born again or being at one with God, is, is eventually what happens to every single person who embraces this process. Now, there are literally, when I was in the first century, there was literally only myself in that condition. However, since then, there has been many millions of people who have gone from being children of God in, in the created sense to a true, true child of God in a choice sense, in a choice of becoming at one with God sense. And now there are literally millions of people uh, in the spirit world in particular who are at one with God and who are also true children of God in that sense. And that was the sense that I taught in the first century. So in the first century, I did refer to myself as God's son directly because I had become at one with God in this true sense, not just in a created sense.